Hi everyone, it's Rush Clan, and I have got something really special for you. Uh, Rydon is back, and I'm saying that wholeheartedly. I think Rydon is back, but it has turned from a normal Rydon deck to like a Turbo Hands deck to a Rydon box. Okay, it is a box uh, because it's not just using electric Pokemon anymore, it is using like Iron Bundle, Squawk Billy. And Tatsukuri and Greninja now. And it's, it is a box. And the Iron Thorns in this deck really does work. I've seen a lot of people not using this in their decks. In the Maradon box. And they should be. Uh, you'll see in the second match, it just completely shuts down a deck. And I'm not spoiling it, but it will shut you down. And with all the uh, extra cards, we've got judges, we've got uh, researches, we've got Arvins, bosses, we've got prime catcher, uh, we've got rescue ball, future booster capsule. We've got all the stuff you need to do really well. And 15 energies, really good. So, that list is in the description below. You can take a screenshot, hit all the funny buttons, enjoy the next parts of the video, and I'll see you in the next part. See you there. Right, so what should we start with? I'm pretty sure I'm going to start with the Iron Pawns. And that's all I'm going to put down for the minute. Yep, yeah, that's all I'm going to put down for the minute. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a Future Booster Capsule. I'm going to put an Energy. And I'm going to pass. Because that will just lock them out. It. it will, won't it? Not too sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. Because uh, we don't want to bench the right tune yet. Um, and the Iron Bundle. We don't need the Iron Bundle at the minute. So we're just going to do a Judge. Going to make their hand really small. Uh, the reason I use Judge over Iona is because most of the time you, we have a lot of energies when because we have so many energies in this deck the odds are you can have about two to three plus in your hands and if you're doing an iona and then you want to do a generator after well all them energies are at the bottom of your deck it's not really good is it well at least with the judge it's going to move them around a bit and they're going to be you know everywhere in the deck so at least it spreads it out a little bit better and the judge will mess with especially near the start of the match where they've got, you know, um, a lost box deck that lots to draw lots. Unfortunately, if this shut down everything, so just if you did a Klefki, if it was a Klefki, it'd be really good because then it, it would have just stuck them. Um, <clears throat> I do think it should have been uh, everything, like no abilities at all while this is in the active not just rule box pokemon uh i mean it, it still works for future pokemon you can still use future pokemon but you can't use anything else so if you read it no not that uh as long as let me go uh as long as this is in the active spot your pokemon with a rule bark in play both yours and your opponents have no abilities except for future pokemon so if you're using an I say like an Iron Fawns only deck, you go against a future box deck or a turbo hands deck, you're still gonna be in trouble because it's just not gonna work. Now they're at two. They've funny enough, they got rid of their Greninja and a water energy. Which is really interesting. So the art this is a turbo variant. So this is a turbo you know box so it's probably a lost box turbo version it's got lightning energy it's got socket energy so it's probably gonna be using double maybe double stable eye um we'll see i need double turbo though right let's find sync Okay, so we can go for that. Uh, hopefully, we can find something off this. Oh, well, that works. And we get nothing off that. Of course. 
And yep, end of turn. Okay. That was not what I wanted. I wanted to get the two. If I didn't lose them two energies, uh, it would have been really good. But yeah, lost two of them energies. It is what it is. If 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 I got two off that and generate, I would have had almost charged up. And then all I need is a double turbo. Find a double turbo, attach it to this, and keep attacking. Um, that's the plan. So they're going to do a lost box. They, I've got a research, which is not too bad. Um, I mean, if this was a carnivore, um, it would have been really good. Because then all I'd have to do is just keep the Iron Fawns and just keep, uh, just keep the Iron Fawns in the active. Don't bench anything else and just keep doing the Iron Fawns until they die. Uh, it's very good against, say, Garnivore, Charizard. It completely locks them out for a time being. Um, switch. They're at three at the minute. They're taking their time with these flower selectings. But with Lost Box or Turbo Box, it is one of the harder decks to master. It is a very, very complicated very challenging deck. It's not something that you can just pick up and go, right, I've mastered it straight away. No, you have to practice and learn all the different combinations, what you do, when is it best to throw that into the loss zone, keep uh, any ma literally energy management and all that stuff. You really, really do need to do that. Right, buddy puff in. And it's you gonna get nothing. He's already got all the comfies and the cram. He's going to retreat now. Has he done a retreat yet? No, there's an iron bundle. Is he? Yeah, I thought he was going to do an iron bundle then, but it's fine. Right. Okay. And that is, unfortunately, in a stabilized range as well, which is not good at all. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Hmm. I need to switch this out of the active, don't I? And I will grab. Can't fade, really put that in. Do a tandem unit. And I'm going to get Turbo Hands, Raikou. Research. Okay, so I've got you. And I want... I think Greninja. Uh, let's see what we got. I need to get... You. Nine energies. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do a gen. I get two, which is really, really, really good. Okay, so I can put that on the iron hands. I'll put that there. Hopefully, I can find something now. Get rid of one of the electrics. So, right shoe. If any money, I lose the skateboard. Oh, I've got a switch. Oh, that's just perfect, isn't it? And then we can just go straight into this. Thank you very much. Give me two. Okay. More energy. So I can put this double turbo onto the iron fawns and attack. Um, I 
or I can keep it for another Iron Hands. Could keep it for another Iron Hands, actually, to be fair. Hmm. I've got the Iron Bundle, though. I have got an Arvin to find me something. You're going to retreat. Have you got a switch? They must have a switch. They're at five at the minute. They've not popped off. They haven't found a single chorus, I don't think. Have they found a chorus? No. They haven't found a single chorus, which is very, very interesting. That judge must have messed with it and put it at the bottom. Can they find a judge? Can they find a... Well, there's an Iron Fawns, which is not really going to do much here. Um, and we have got draw power here. I mean, I could just put... If I find a Super Rod, I will put it back in the energy. Oh. Well, that's not what they wanted. Uh, that was bad. That Ursa Luna was bad because they could probably soup that off. So if they put three energy on, on that, they could have attacked and knocked out this Iron Hands. Now, they're going to get rid of the future booster, I think. Either going to be the future booster or the... Oh, okay. So they're trying to get to the 10. I think they want to do a stable on this Iron Fawns boss. Okay. Switch cart into the cram. They're going to get this really close then. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Doc. Emergency board as well. Awesome. I'm going to put that on there. Uh, what do we want to do? Do we want? Yeah, I'll keep that. Or the switch cart be better. Save the energies. <laughs> I don't know how many energies I've got left. And I don't I've prized my super rod as well. I've got seven in a 21 deck. I may No, I'll take it. I'll take it out. It's fine. Um, we will retreat into this. I'm not going to put that double turbo down now. But I am going to do a still cards. Right, okay. So we've got both generators and everything else. That's fine. Uh, do I want to attach? I do want to attach, actually. And I will attach to the Maridon. And we'll just do Amp very much. Take another two prizes. There's the other hind hands. Now, if they do a stable live, fair enough. But then I've got a double generator in my hands. Uh, put heavy baton onto this turbo hand, onto that iron hands as well. Uh, I think they're gonna. Oh, they find a chorus. That's the first chorus of the game. By the way, that is the first chorus. Can't believe that. Um, there is a new card coming out. It's not in the next set in August. It's the one after, and it's the. Um, is it Kyron? Kyr Rim, Karim, the uh, it's literally a Pokemon that can do 110 damage to three Pokemon. So, what uh, literally you can do 110, 110, 110, and you can do it for a colorless energy, it's like a five energy attack with like loads of like water and steel. 
But if they've got, a, if your opponent has got a chorus in their discard pile, you can literally attack for one colorless energy with it and destroy. So Lost Box is going to have a really big threat. They're going to have to keep playing Manaphy turn one. If they do a chorus and they put a chorus in their discard pile and they haven't benched the Manaphy and you just have that one Pokemon, you only need one in the deck. You can play it in any deck, just one of them, of that Pokemon, that Kyrim, and be able to snipe three Pokemon at once. Um, I think that's going to be... I think it's going to be really destructive to Lost Box. I think Lost Box might be seeing a rough time when the... Not the set that's coming out in uh, August 2nd. I think it's August 2nd. The... Uh, oh, what they're called. The ones with the Unky Dory and the, or the Ogre Ponds and stuff like that. Uh, the Dark, new Dark Pokemon. Um, but I, I could see it getting... Yeah. It's going to be kind of bad for chorus people and there is a new chorus uh support card that's coming out that allows you to grab I'm pretty sure it's an energy any energy doesn't mean it doesn't have to be basic it could be any energy and a stadium i don't think that's going to see much play um unless you want if you're looking for something specific like jamming tower and legacy energy or upper neo energy or something like that or double turbo it could be useful for that. I don't know what decks that would be really useful for, but I mean, oh, my hand is monstrous at the minute. If they rock sand me now, I'll be like, <laughs> but I've still got my iron, which can find iron hands. And even if they knock this iron hands out, which they're going to with the blood moon. See, now I could actually do a right shoe here. Yeah. I think a right shoe would be good here. I just wish I had... I prized the heavy baton, and I wish I'd pull it on, but I couldn't do it because I got it from the prizes after my last attack. So I got from that... So I got... I added heavy baton and iron hands after I knocked out the cram, which is unfortunate. If I had the heavy baton on, I would have put it onto the Maraidon. And then... Yeah. So I only need four energies to knock that out. So I'm going to promote the Maridon, actually. Okay. And then I'm going to bench. I could do turbo hands and then... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to make him promote something. Not Ursaluna. Okay. Then I'm going to bench the hands. Then I'm going to do a generator. And he, I get two. Okay. I get two. And I don't even need the other generator now. Because I've got Turbo Turbo in my hands. Then I can just go Double Turbo... Heavy Baton, Retreat, haven't even used my Supporter yet, and take two prizes. And that is how good this deck is. It's crazy. It's literally a Swiss Army Knight. It is a Maridon box deck. But that was so good. That showed how good that was. And they couldn't find a Chorus. And that's what happens with Lost Box sometimes. You just can't find that Chorus. And you have a really slow start. And it's, it's just nightmarish. But, I mean, I could have knocked out the Arsenal with the right shoe. But, you know, it is what it is. I used the Iron Hands this time. And it's fun. So, we go to another match. And I'll see you then. See you then. Okay. So, second match. Actually, technically, it's my third match. But, I actually went against um, a Carnival deck. And they grabbed... They did a, literally... So, I was going second. And I, I, all I had was a right shoe and a switch cart. Didn't have a really good hand, okay? And they had a hunky dory. They did a heavy ball and got a cleft gate and put it in the active. And then they tried to do an artisan. And then I don't know if they didn't look at their prizes properly. 
but it looked like they actually priced all four of the Oxys. All their Volkses was in the prizes. So I thought, nah, I can't keep that. It's not really nice. It does happen. I mean, it's happened to when you're playing Garnival. It can happen sometimes. I know somebody, when I was at Dortmund uh, Regionals last year. Was it last year? No, it was this year. Dortmund Regionals this year. Um, and what happened was, somebody I know in Germany, in Dortmund, played against somebody, and they prized all four curlies. All four curlies. So not even a heavy ball would have saved them. And they didn't have any rare candies, I think, in that deck as well. So it's not like they could have just gone rare candy, carnivore. No. They literally had the flop. Uh, and because you, if you're playing carnivore, you're playing... Normally, you only play like one really long match. Then that's it. The second match is... You play it until you run out of time. And then if you've won your first match, you've won anyway. Uh, it's not a fast deck. But it can happen. I mean, it happened to that person. He got all four Volkses in his prizes. And, I mean, Garnival is a very, very strong deck. I'm actually thinking about playing it at, at my locals today. While I'm recording this today. Um, it's either that or my Charizard deck. I am not sure which one I'm going to go for yet. Um, Charizard is a little bit faster, but Garnival is a bit slower and stuff like that. But we'll see. So what I'm going to do, I am going to get all the Pokemon I want. So, Iron Thorns wouldn't be too bad here. It would shut them down. I can't knock anything out though. So, I think, and that, that's one, two there, but I need the Saptos, hmm, and then, the right shoe, maybe, the Saptos, do I need the Saptos? I think the Iron Fawns and try and mess them up a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to dig into the deck and see if we can find nothing. So the deck shuffle now. See what we get. We've got, unfortunately, got four energies in my hand. Are you kidding me? That is all I get. That is really, 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 really bad. All right. And just look them out. So, they have no abilities. So, they can't do coin bonus. They can't do concealed cards. Uh, I'm just going to have to slowly uh, accelerate energy onto a Pokemon at the minute. The Tatsuguri did not work. Is it top seven? It is like a Mew. The baby Mew we used to have before rotation. Yeah, it's top six cards. I swear it was top seven with Mew. Was it top seven? Comment down below. You remember the Mew... The 70 or 60 HP Mew you used to have that allowed you to look at the top of your deck and if you find any item cards, you could put it into your hands. Was it top 7 or was it top 6? Or top 5? I can't remember. Please comment down below while it is. Because I can't remember now. I've got one upstairs, but I'm not going upstairs while I'm recording. Oh, that shut them down, didn't it? But I've got one. Alright, so... Um... I'll put it onto you. I'm going to put one onto you. And the reason I'm doing that is because if I get a double turbo, I can attack. And I've only got to put one energy down. But this is completely shut them down at the minute. The Iron Fawns. The one Iron Fawns. Uh, Iron Fawns. If they haven't got a boss or a gust or an Iron Bundle, that is it. If you, I was thinking about playing two Iron Fawns, but the thing is, if you start it, um, you probably have to get it out of the active if you want to do your tandem unit. Okay, your tandem unit sets your your bench. Okay, but when you're playing against Garnivore, try and just put Iron Fawns down, and that is it. Uh, if you can, uh, W that'd start end game for them. 
it's just it's just yeah it won't work for them anymore i'm gonna put taxiguri there so i can use that uh and i am just gonna keep charging that up and if i can survive one more turn i can start taking prizes See, even if I have Greninja, I still couldn't do anything because Iron Fawn shuts it down. And they are completely stuck at the minute. I'd laugh if they all have got his energy and nothing else. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. The Iron Fawns is just... When it when I first saw Iron Fawns coming out from Temporal Forces, I was just like, no way. That is like so op and it is if, i mean i've seen people do the quad i i mean look he can't play the game and i could just go bomb research lovely jubblies i can put a future booster capsule on it as well and then just keep attacking now i'm doing 160 now and i could retreat for free so and i will put it onto the iron iron hands Right, taking a prize. Unless they've got counter catch and they were just waiting. Maybe. But have I even done, I've done a generator, done two. Oh yeah, I flopped on one. I flopped on the generator. It's not nice when it happens, honestly, it's really bad. And when I see somebody playing Marauder on and then they're using the generators or they're playing Turbo Hands and it flops and you get nothing. Even if you get one energy, it's still better than nothing. But it really isn't nice, especially if you play like me, 15 le electric energies and you still flop. I mean, it's just the way the deck is shuffled on TCG. I think it's worse on the online than it is in real life um, because the way we shuffle is different to how the game was shuffled. And I think you've got more chance the way everyone, normal people shuffle than the game um, because we don't know how the shuffling mechanic works. Um, but I'm just going to keep taking prizes. And just completely shut them off. The concealed card is a major thing for Goldango. And so is coin bonus. It's their draw power. And for me just to go, nope, you can't use that. That's it. You are shut down. No more. And this is where Maridon is becoming a Maridon box. Just like Lost Box where you have multiple different kind of Pokemon. Maridon is starting to adopt the same thing. Just to stay top tier because now you've got Tatsuguri, you've got Squawky Belly, you've got Mew, you've got uh Greninja, you've got Iron Bundle, you've got other Pokemon you can even put uh I did used to have Blood Moon Ursa Luna in this deck and yeah and I don't really want to put um a double, I want to keep this in the active to be fair so I might just do Generator, maybe. And Fossil Stone. Yeah, that'll work. So we can go Fossil Stone. Generator. One. So even though one, it's still I'm still happy with that. I'm still really happy with that. Because then that still makes it closer. Now, I don't need to do... I'm not doing the Fossil Stone yet. And I'm keeping... An energy to hand, right? And they are completely shut down. They can't do anything until they go swing out. They are stuck. Um, and I've almost got an iron hand set up now. I could just put an energy, and that's it. And as soon as I move this energy, when if I fire attack again, I will just move it onto this, all right? Or I'll put a double turbo on this. Then do move the electric to this. Uh, and that's it then. It's done. It's ready. It's ready. And I haven't needed to do anything else.
Right, so he's put the Greninja up now. Okay. The Iron Fawns. Oh, God. So Iron Fawns is deadly. I've seen other people. I've seen some really top-tier Maraudon decks out there. Well, Maraudon boxes uh, do really well in New Orleans. Um... But I didn't see, I don't think I saw an Iron Fawns in it. I think there was one person that did. Um, but having that one, I know it's only one. Maybe it's worth playing two. But if you don't want to start, sometimes you don't want to start with it. Because if you've got a really bad hand and you've got a Maraidon in play, you can't do your tandem unit. Um, but it is what it is. It's completely stuck. He can't do nothing. And it's really, it is a big shame. Um, big, 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 big shame. I mean, I could just retreat now. Attach. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I want to be able to do Iron Hands now. Uh, and unfortunately for them, I'm going to judge them. They've got massive hands. And I've just turned that massive hand into nothing now. And I still haven't even done anything yet. Uh, so I am going to do a. Uh, I'm going to do one more generator. I get one energy. That's fine. I'm going to put it onto the Maraidon. And then I'm going to amp you very much. Keep doing the pressure. Okay. And they've gone from what size hand? I think they had, I did a judge. Where did I put the judge? So I judged and they had a 10 card hand, right? And I judged them. And now they've not taken a single prize. They haven't got anything out. They haven't been able to do anything. And they've lost their draw power with the Greninja as well. Um, yeah. There's no way they can come back from this now. And, I mean, I could always, if they do manage to knock out something, uh, I can just go heavy baton, then get a Raichu out, and then I'm, I'm, I'm good. That's it. It's done. There's no more. Uh, I mean, don't me wrong, Goldango is a difficult deck to go against uh, for Maradon players because that 260 HP is just out of its reach. And it can be a bit of a problem. And I, I'm i not going to do anything. I'm just going to beat him. That's it. Sorry for really stalling you out and controlling the match. But that's just to prove how good this deck really is. And yeah, I think that was crazy. That was really, really strong. And I can't believe how much that took on that gold angle person. Right, so I will go to the next part and I'll see you then. See you then. So as you can see, we have so many options with this deck. Maraidon isn't just like a Maraidon Iron Hands deck anymore. It's not just an electric type deck. It is a Maraidon box. It has Iron Bundle, it's Squirtle Billy. It's got Greninja, it's got Tatsukuri now. So it's not just electric Pokemon now. It is become a box. A Maraidon box. Maraidon is the Pokemon that gets all the Pokemon out, but everything else doesn't have to be, you know, uh, an electric Pokemon anymore. And the Iron Forms, as you saw from that last match, completely shut down that Gold Dango deck. Completely shut it down. And it shut down a Garnival deck I played prior to that. So this is actually not the third match. You saw after uh, I did actually play three matches. Uh, I played a match just before the Goldango match and I couldn't keep it in there because one, the person prized all four Voltzes. Two, I had the Iron Fawns and they just couldn't do anything. Uh, so it's not really fair, but that's how it is. And this deck is so, so strong. Please try this out. If you haven't tried it out, try it out. Um, I'm seriously thinking about actually getting... I'm only missing one or two cards. And I'm actually seriously thinking about using this deck. Uh, I really like it. 
and yeah enjoy i hope you enjoyed hit all the funny buttons and i'll see you on the next video see you